misty today. Okay, normally you get some great views from this cairn, this cairn uh, but today not so good. <laughs> so it's Cammy making this way up. Oh, Cammy, this, this is all your fault, isn't it? Because a month ago you said the weather was so nice that you were getting soft. Yeah. So you're not soft today, are you? No, I'm hard as nail. Hot nail for breakfast. <laughs> so over that direction is Ben Loman. Just imagine Ben Omen, and then you've got Loch Lomond around here, and you've got Glasgow. Where's Glasgow? Oh, right. Yeah, this the way. Um, but today, the visibility is about 100 yards. Not improved at all. So, here's the, the cairn at the top of the Wangi. So, in the past, Cammy, we've always just done the first route that Marco showed me, and today we're going to do the slightly long one. So, we're going to head down to the car park and then we're going to cut across the field and get onto the West Harland Way for about a mile. So if you enjoy it, then it's all mine. And if you don't like it, we'll wave Yes, sir. I'm good, I'm good. Good. So just pointing out, here's the West Harland Way route. Um, just in there along there. I reckon that little lump there is about five miles into the route from Mulgai. So we're heading down, we're gonna join the West Harland Way route. Yes, I have. It's been good. Yep. Good training, man. So John pushed me all the way as usual. <laughs> no, I wouldn't bet anything less. Okay, so we've been going about 15 miles, Cammy. We've got about five to go. You going well this morning? Yes, I thought we only had three to go. <laughs> and it's all uphill. <laughs> no, not quite. Yeah, going well, yep. yep. Please, yep. So it's now, um, what's the date? About the 18th of February? So how is your training for your first West Harland Way going so far? It's uh, well, going well, touch wood so far. Um, I'm finding my fitness is increasing uh, week on week really. Um, session are getting a wee bit harder but I'm finding I can get through them okay. I find the long runs, uh, uh, get, getting more confident in the long runs. Thinking you know, I can do 20 miles and so on. And, uh, so I thought on the home I'm pleased. I'm dropping a wee bit of weight but I think it's helping as well. Yep. Um, so anything that helps, I'm all for it. Good. And then next Saturday, what are your plans? You're telling me you've got a the next lot, big long run today. Yeah, got a 35 mile run. Yep. And I'm um, planning to try and maybe do the the, uh, the beginning of the West Hill Way. I've never walked that before. 
So I like to try and get do all the West Ham way part of my training, so I'm familiar with the route. Uh, so I hope to start with my guy and do a 35 mile probably. Uh, far up to Conic, top of Conic Hill and turn down and come back. Uh, John tried to convince me to do a negative split. <laughs> if I can just do 35 and still strong then I'll be happy. Yeah. Well as you're doing that I'll be uh, over in Falkirk doing the National Cross Country which is a lot different event. Uh, 10k on the mud going as hard as I can but uh, I quite enjoy just having a bit of a, a change for a few weeks so I had a good January and then I'm concentrating on doing some more speed work with the cross country and then two weeks after the uh, Inverness half uh, so it's good but we're I'm really enjoying these Saturdays we're either out at the glee club or uh -huh. on uh, doing these runs together it's been good fun it's much easier when you're with someone I think you're finding that if you're with people and you're chatting uh, time passes too much quicker and it's more enjoyable yeah so it's been good good well, thank you very much thank you